is a the X30 model and as you can see just move across maybe one of those now the main um, interface uh, the, the main icon is probably the music DB because th this particular one um, is the um, section that keeps all your ripped collection so as you insert a CD, copy it across, it gets kept over here. Now, let's assume you, uh, this is a new one, um, should have a new hard drive. You know, as you, as you take it home, you probably format the hard drive and connect it to the internet. And of course, you can get the metadata or install the um, um, database. Okay, so um, just just a quick one actually um, the database I mean if your device is connected to the internet it retrieves the metadata of the CD that you intend to copy or rip but you can also install the database manually onto the device so um, you can have them both you can have both ways so it would still look on the internet and still use the metadata that you've installed um, pardon me the database um, you've installed on the uh, device so, um, but I won't go into that moment I'm just going to talk about this interface so at the moment I'm just going to press info and as you can see I've got nothing on there no albums, no artists, nothing so you just highlight the main DB and press info and then you see that okay now the meaning behind music DB is that it's the section that gives you more meaning, or rather gives meaning to your um, uh, music. So um, it, it, it reads your metadata, or pardon me, reads the, the metadata of the song and structures it accordingly. So um, if you, for example, if you copy or import or rip some songs onto the X10 you, you keep them here so it will structure it according to the genre and the album and the artist and the composer etc so th this section allows you to search display according to your you know preference so let's move to the playlist now the playlist of course is based on the uh, music DB so as you create playlists um, it links it to the music DB so I'm just going to go into that um, and of course you can press the menu you can create playlists, add them, rename etc uh, um, of course the playlist is sort of a link to the music DB so you don't really have to worry about you're not going to delete anything if you delete a playlist because it's just a link to the um, music um, DB over here um, so the press menu you can create a new one add, and of course you can add the song to an existing one you, you can do all sorts you know. now the auto play is like an automatic playlist so you can create a playlist within that um, playlist in itself so it, it sort of plays it automatically as you switch on the device but you have to activate the um, auto play on a device to have that um, rolling so um, okay now let's move to the iService now the iService is sort of the section that has all the internet streaming services as well as internet radio so at the moment you need to be connected to the internet to be able to access it of course it's a streaming service so if you're not connected to the internet you, it's just going to be inactive so you won't be able to access it but because it's connected um, I'll just go into that and you've got the internet radio and you can browse through it um, so using the categorized um, options and you can, create, you can add favorites you can search by tapping the uh, you know, using the keyboard you, know, you can type that in um, it will just search for any ready to you've got tons of them you know so many you, know, you can use um, I'm just going to press return and get back to that 
um, you, you know, it's really that new. Now, over here, now this is the Simfy internet streaming service. So, um, we will be adding some more services later on, so the uh, list will get a lot, um, you're going to have a lot more services on, on, on the, in the uh, internet radio. Uh, pardon me, the internet service. So you're going to have a lot more things on there. But at the moment, you use the internet internet service, internet radio, which is free. You got other um, streaming services that will be on the list. So, and you've got the FM. You know, you know which of course you can use and um, it, it, it sports RDS as well. So same thing. Now, one interesting thing is you can course record the um, internet radio so um, as you go in um, you access it and sort of choose this internet radio which is free um, browse through um, play whatever you like um, you can press record and then you can record it you can do the same thing with the um, FM radio um, now just a quick one as you record the FM and the internet radio, the data gets stored over here at the browser section, not the DB. So we'll get back to that in a second. Now, when you record from internet radio and FM, it gets stored here, and it's the same with auxiliary. Or input recordings such as from you know um, LP recordings and vinyls and audio source you know sort of from analog to digital recordings that you want to sort of digitize all get stored over the browser section I'm just going to access the browser the browser um, icon there. just go press OK now as you can see the browser section has a section has a sort of a space called HDD1 now that's also part of the internal hard drive but it's separate from your main music DB because it keeps it over here in a sort of a, a form that allows you to view it before you add it to your main collection if that makes any sense because um, why would you want to record an FM you should have a song from an FM radio or an internet radio and then have it directly added to the um, music db if you haven't the faintest idea on when what's recorded on or the metadata that's linked to the song because the whole idea remember what i said before is that the music db gives form and structure to your collection so at the moment i've got nothing here and and, I, and as you can see from the top you've got artist and album so you can sort of switch to album. At the moment I have no albums, so you can switch to particular genre. I've got no genre, I've got nothing. But if you record I'm just gonna turn okay if you record anything it gets stored over here. Now it goes inside the HD one. I'm just gonna press info. See that shows you the space of the um, whole the whole hard drive okay see that this is the main sort of this is the, the internal hard drive that's installed on the hard drive uh, on, on the cocktail audio so I'm just going to go over here so that here is part of the the hard drive that gets ripped to so this section over here, in that section over here, the HD1 section, which is the hard drive, is that. So all, everything you copy, or, or, or rather you record from an internet radio or FM, gets uh, rather it are kept here. Now I'm just going to go into that. At the moment, there's nothing in here, but as you record, you, you sort of you're going to get some generated folders. So it's going to create some folders. But I'm just going to do a mock version so let's press menu I'm just going to create a folder so you can keep anything you like here so you can call it let's call it this 
my space for this my space <laughs> my space okay so this section it's like a space where you can put anything so I mean you could even copy stuff to this section and just leave it there and play it if you like but to, I mean, you know, it still makes sense to the device but it's not part of the um, music DB because the music DB are things that you have some form of form to structure and things that you can copy and, and export and, and I mean you can still do the same thing with things over here but the only difference is I suppose it's got metadata <laughs> I suppose it, you know say so you know this um, I'm quite digressing here anyway uh, okay so now this bit over here will have folders you're going to have radios and uh, internet radios and as you record them and they're going to have them all in the folders and all the auxiliary recordings and other LPs will have sort of um, their own folders in, with all the songs in there okay um, so that that's another interesting part now the just to use a simple analogy here is that let's say you have a bunch of books and you've got like 50 books and then you sort of copy or rather um, you take 50 books and you put them on the shelf uh, you take say 40 you put them on the shelf and you keep 10 on the table now the 10 books could be kept here for later and then you can keep the, f the 40 over here so you've got the 40 books well structured over here and you've got the 10 books over here so you can do anything you like in that space but just remember that the more um, the, the the more space you accumulate via the music DB it's uh, you know or rather as the music DB accumulates you get less space to play around over here and of course as this space gets bigger you get less space to play around over here but this bit sort of gives you the, the sort of the, the almost the mechanism to clean up your collection before you add them to the um, space over here. So um, I hope it makes any sense. I mean, it is rather um, a bit confusing sometimes, but you can do anything you like over here. Really, I mean, you know, I've got a USB plugged in. I've got. Um, UPnP devices on the network so that will see it I'm just going to go into that see that picks up all the UPnP devices that I've got over here so I can play all my music from a different server and see all these other bits really um, but at the moment because this is a music device you know it wouldn't play movies so but remember the whole st structure is you know, it, it picks up stuff on the, on the network We've got um, some NET, which uses the Samba protocol to um, add a share. So if you've got any music on the network, you can see them, you can add them. You can, of course, copy them across. And, of course, copy them directly into here without having to keep them even to here. So you can have songs and you say, look, hey, um, could you highlight, just access the songs, copy them across and I'll get back to that okay so I hope that makes any sense and you've got of course the um, the last one which is the CD play rip over here which is um, okay so you've got the um, CD play rip icon that allows you to um, actually or rather that gives you the mechanism to copy um, your um, copy and copy or play your CDs but at the moment I can't access it because it is inactive I haven't got a CD inserted it's sort of you know there but let's see, I can't access it at the moment but 
I'm just going to go back to the browser just to um, make a little point. Now you see that CD over here? Now this is a data CD, not an audio CD. Okay, I'm just going to go into that and then it, as you can see it's got it's sort of a, an, an audio file that was copied onto um, it as a data CD so it doesn't actually play on an, an, on an ordinary audio CD but it, it plays it's almost like a space on a disc really you know, it's a data disc so it, it can be a DVD it can be anything um, but I just kept it there stored it there and you know, open it I'm just going to actually let's play one let's just do um, to there okay just going to play that and then as you can see you can play it okay you can play it and you, you can view the information okay so here we have it the switch going to jump to the main screen okay. now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back I'm going to highlight one track actually let's, let's highlight the second track press the right arrow press menu I'm going to um, import to DB stop it for a second So it's done. I'm just going to go back here and then have a look. As you can see, I've got one track of an album. But let's sort by album. Let's just show you. It's there. Okay. And um, you can switch. Sort of, you know, switch that, with that, and into text mode. There, one, two, three, there. So, yeah. Okay. And you can use this. At the moment, it's uh, I don't know, it's classical. Um, I hope I have used it switch it through there, you can delete it, you can rename it, you can mark it album art. But let's um, come out of that. I hope that explains a bit with the data CD. So, you know, not all CDs are sort of enabled that, but we'll come back to that later. So that's the bit with the main interface. So just to recap, You've got your main structured section. I'm just going to stop that song for a second. You've got the main structured section. You've got your playlists. You've got your eye services. You've got AFM setup inputs. And then you've got the, the um, browser, which enables you to access all your devices. Of course, has the same space. So you can view the space. As you can see, it's, of course, got one track. So I hope it reads it. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, I hope it makes any um, sense. Yeah. Thank you.